$25 is $25. I, I just ain't got it at the moment. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Bundle Banter. Humble Bundle coming at it this week, my goodness. They just dropped the bundle like yesterday or the day before and today they're coming again. This time with Australia Fire Relief, which is very, very important. Australian bushfires burning all across the country for a very long time now. And uh, all of our favorite animals that are out to kill us uh, that live in Australia are, are in danger. So we got to save them, so maybe they'll repay the favor at some point. Anyways, it's a really big bundle. Um, I'm going to have to run through the game super quickly so this video doesn't get super long in length. But let's have a look at what they have here. It's only a six-day bundle, but they have Hollow Knight, Void Bastards, Armello, Euro Truck Simulator 2, Duck Game, Hand of Fate, Paradigm, Crawl, Adventure Pals, Regular Human Basketball, Satellite Rain, Hacknet, Mr. Shifty, Primal Carnage, Assault Android Cactus, Frog Detective, The Haunted Island, Framed Collection, Thick of the Children, Feather, Tower of Guns, Rising Dusk, Death Squared, Paper Bark, Quest of Dungeons, The Stillness of the Wind, The Gardens Between, and F Paper Fire Rookie, uh, as well as Masquerade, The Bobbles of Doom, and Machinarium. So I recognize a few of these. A couple of them were point and clicks, but we're not going to judge them too harshly for that. <clears throat> Let's jump in and see some some gameplay, and I'll give a very, very brief summary. Hollow Knight, absolutely gigantic souls-like metroidvania with a fantastic art style. Void Bastards is a roguelike first-person shooter that forces you to keep an eye on your oxygen as well as your ammo. Armello is a fantastic board game. Equip items, cast spells, gain followers, and rule over the land. Euro Truck Simulator 2, automobile sim with like top tier realism. It's super grindy if you want to get new items, but it is quite popular. There's also a shit ton of DLC. Duck Game, multiplayer arena action platformer. You're basically a duck, you shoot other ducks, it's pretty good. Hand of Fate 2, deck building game with some RPG elements. Gamble, fight, die, repeat. Very nice. Paradigm, surreal point and click soaked in an 80s aesthetic. And it's sort of determined to be lol so random, but I like it for that. It doesn't overdo it. Crawl, obviously, is a dungeon crawler roguelike that is done in the pixel style. Best in multiplayer, but unfortunately it is local only. The Adventure Pals is a really feel-good action platformer with plenty to love, including a leveling system. Regular Human Basketball, multiplayer only indie title, Great concept, but only playable with a friend. Satellite Rain is like if Shadowrun and XCOM had a baby that was sort of ugly. That's, that's Satellite Rain. Hacknet. Hacking Simulator. It kind of leaves you to figure it out all by yourself, but I will say that it is very immersive and very fun if you enjoy simulated hacking. <laughs> Mr. Shifty, basically Hotline Miami, except you have the ability to teleport. It has a cleaner graphical style, and the music is much less awesome than Hotline Miami. Primal Carnage Extinction, Dinosaurs vs. Humans, I mean, that's an idea that's built for success. It does lack a bit of polish, but it's definitely fun. Assault Android Cactus is a twin-stick score attack bullet hell game. There are nine different characters with various different abilities. You start with like four or five and then you unlock the others. It's not too bad. The Haunted Island, a frog detective game. This is what would happen if Scooby-Doo were a frog. Exactly what this would be like. Uh, and the budgets are similar as well. <laughs> Scooby-Doo's super cheap. Frame Collection, noir style spy game. The gameplay itself is absolutely awesome. Uh, but if you like story, then this is not the one for you because it does lack any story whatsoever, which is kind of strange for a spy game. Think of the Children is another local co-op game all about parenting. You know, preventing your kids from eating dangerous things and getting hit by cars. It is decently fun if you've got a player too. Feather is a casual bird simulator, I guess. It's a really zen and relaxing experience that has some nice music. You basically just cruise, and sometimes I like that. Tower of Guns, a rogue light first person shooter with multiple weapons and perks available. If you like procedurally generated death labyrinths, then you might be into Tower of Guns. Rising Dusk, I actually did cover for Indie Gamer Chick, I think back 
during Indie Ween, and it is a very charming and well animated backwards platformer. Uh, by backwards platformer, I basically mean that the game encourages you to avoid coins, which takes a lot of getting used to. <laughs> Death Squared, another local co op only game. It is a very simple concept that has a fantastic execution. If only it had online play, I would I would be playing this one quite a bit. Unfortunately, you gotta loop somebody in that, like, lives around you or have friends, which I don't. Paper Bark, <laughs> playable storybook slash walking wombat simulator. The game is super short or at around three hours, but it's animated nicely in kind of a, a watercolor style, so... It's, it's worth a look, I would assume. Quest of Dungeons is probably my least favorite game out of this entire lot. It calls itself a roguelike, but it's far too simple to be called one. Basically, you're encouraged to wait around uh, to heal your health before going into combat, and there's basically no downside to waiting around. There's no hunger system or anything like that, so... It's, it's severely lacking, despite the humor that it displays. Uh, Stillness of the Wind is an atmospheric single-player experience touching on subjects like sadness, loss, age, and death. Super, super heavy subjects to cover, but if you're into games that make you think, then I think that uh, Stillness of the Wind is probably a good one for you. The Gardens Between is a very short puzzle game with some decent-looking visuals. The puzzles aren't actually that difficult, and this game is also super short, clocking in at around three hours. Paper Fire Rookie, a VR-only title that probably accurately simulates Australia at the moment, but not really. It's like super ugly too. <laughs> it's another really short one, clocking in about two or three hours, and it is VR-only, as I said. So, if you don't have a VR headset, you probably won't be playing this one, and that includes me. Masquerade The Bobbles of Doom is a humorous action game that sort of lacks decent controls, but it has a really nice comic style that might just lure you in, despite the sort of awkward and bulky controls. Mechanarium is another point and click. It's got a pretty cool art style. The main character can, like, extend himself and shrink himself, which leads to some pretty interesting puzzling. But of course, puzzles and point and clicks are not really my jam, so... Mechanarium is just gathering dust in my library at the moment. As far as the bundle as a whole, I don't think anything really jumps out as, at me as you have to get this right now. I definitely like the look of Paper Bark. Uh, Stillness of the Wind intrigues me. I can confirm that Assault Android Cactus, Rising Dusk, Mr. Shifty, Hacknet, Hand of Fate, Hollow Knight, Armello, and Duck Game are all pretty cool. They fit right in with my tastes. But there's really something for everybody in this bundle if you'd like to support the Australian wildfire relief effort. $25 is pretty harsh, but for 29 games, it's it's pretty hard to lose out. A lot of these games are Humble Originals, so I think it's really cool that Humble was uh, stepping up, putting their money where their mouth is, and giving away some of their games for free. And unlike most bundles, 100% of the sales of this bundle do go to the Australian Wildfire Relief. Hopefully this coverage wasn't too fast. <laughs> I do hope that something was able to catch your eye. And if it was too fast, I mean, YouTube does have the, the re the rewind feature <laughs> if you would like to go over all of them again. I don't think I'll be picking up this bundle myself. $25 is a pretty heavy price to pay, especially when you're living in the Philippines. I should do like a vlog or something like that that basically shows just how many groceries we can get for uh, $25 over here because it is a shit ton. <laughs> so I don't know if I can really justify it right now despite my want to help out Australia, which is right next door to the Philippines. But I do have most of these games in my library anyways. Honestly, it's very few that I do not, so... Some of them are on my wish list, which makes me kind of lean towards it, but again, $25 is $25. I, I just ain't got it at the moment. But if you do got it, if you would like to help me get it, you can click that link down in the description, and also in the pinned comment that is my referral link to this humble bundle and I'll get a little kickback from that so maybe I can buy it if enough people do that but anyways the bundles gonna run really short so make up your mind quick if you want it or not and uh, I guess that's all I got to say 
So I hope that you like, comment, and or subscribe. Friends, if you did enjoy the video, found it helpful in some way, dislike if it was too fast for you, I guess. Also, check out the links in the description to Twitter, Discord, Patreon. As always, big, big shout out to Nico the Legend for supporting us on the Patreon. My most stalwart ally, as everyone knows. Anyways, friends, thank you once again for watching. This has been Bundle Banter, the Humble Bundle Australia Fire Relief Effort. That's a lot to say. I nailed it in one shot. Good job. <laughs> Good job, me. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I sincerely hope to see you in the next one, friends. And until then, bye-bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.